partial fractions on the TI-83 calculator. To download this program, visit the website www.titutor.com. Prerequisite skills. Let's look at the degree of a polynomial. The degree of the leading term tells you the degree of the polynomial. Let's find a degree in each one of the following. 5x plus 2. Our variable is x. The x has a power that's understood to be raised to the first. Therefore, the degree is 1. In the expression 3x squared minus 4x plus 2, the largest power for x is 2. Therefore, this polynomial has a degree of 2. And in the expression 9, by definition, the degree of any constant is 0. Next, let's take a look at linear factors. And a linear factor is in the form ax plus b raised to the power c. Let's take a look at some examples of linear factors. x. x can be written as a linear factor. The coefficient of x is a. In this particular case, b is 0. And our expression is understood to be raised to the first power. If we look at the expression 3x plus 2, our coefficient for x is 3. Our constant b is 2. And our power here is the understood one. And lastly, if we look at the quantity 9x minus 2 cubed, our coefficient for x, a, is 9. b would be negative 2. And our power, c, would be 3 which is still considered to be a linear factor. Let's look at quadratic factors. And quadratic factors are in the form ax squared plus bx plus c raised to the power d. So let's take a look at some quadratic factors. x squared, a would be 1, b is 0, c is also 0, d is 1. In a quadratic factor, 3x squared plus 2, a coefficient for our x squared variable a is 3. We don't have a first degree term, therefore b would be 0. And our constant on the end, c, is 2. And this is all raised to the understood power of 1 for d. We take a look at our last example, the quantity 9x squared minus 2 cubed. The coefficient x squared, a, is 9. Here again, we don't have a first degree coefficient, so we put in a fill of 0. c is 2. And d, which is the power, is 3. And this is still considered to be a quadratic factor. Let's find the partial fraction decomposition for the rational expression x squared divided by x squared plus 8x plus 16. We'll simply start the part frac program in our calculator. First, it asks for the degree of the numerator. And the degree of the numerator is 2, so I'll simply put in a 2 and press Enter. Next, it asks for the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is understood 1, so I'll put in 1. We don't have an x to the first power, so I'll put in a 0 filler. And the constant on the end is also 0. Next, it asks, it asks us about the denominator. And it appears that the denominator is not factored. It asks for the degree. And here again, the degree is 2. I'll press Enter. The coefficient of x squared is 1. The coefficient of x is 8. The constant on the end is 16. And I'll press Enter. And we have our solution. 1 plus or minus 8 divided by x plus 4 plus 16 divided by the quantity x plus 4 squared.
Let's take a look at another example. I'll simply hit enter and I'll go back into the program. It asks for the degree of the numerator. Since the numerator is a constant, the degree is zero. And now the program asks for that constant, which is 15. The denominator is factored. An indication of factored or not factored is a set of parentheses. The parentheses mean that our denominator is factored. So I'll press enter. The number of unique linear terms, there appears to be one, two unique linear terms. And now I'll put in each one of the linear terms in this AX plus B raised to the power C format. So for our first linear term, 4x, the coefficient for x, a, is 4. We don't have a constant, b, so I'll put in a fill of 0. And this linear factor is raised to the understood first power. Our second linear factor, 5x plus 3, a is 5, b is 3. And this linear factor is understood to be raised to the first power. The number of unique quadratic terms is zero. For a solution of five over four x plus a negative twenty five over four divided by five x plus three. Let's take a look at the last example, 6x plus 111 divided by the quantity x minus 4 squared times x plus 5. The degree for the numerator is 1. The coefficient of x is 6. The constant on the end is 111. The denominator appears to be factored, and there appears to be two unique linear terms. Our first unique linear term, a is 1, b is negative 4, and our power is 2. Our second linear term, a is 1, b is 5 and C is also 1. The number of unique quadratic terms is 0. For a result of negative 1 divided by the quantity x minus 4, plus 15 divided by the quantity x minus 4 squared, plus 1 divided by the quantity x plus 5. Here are some dangers of the program. The program may disappear, and if that happens, I would suggest that you reinstall the program. The program may keep on running, so you may have to take out the batteries. And the program may distort your graph. And in order to correct the graph problems, you will simply go to Format, which is Second in Zoom. And you would make sure that all of your items are set to the far left. And this should correct any graph problems. Thank you for watching.